Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and today we're gonna check out the 10 in 1 lens kit from Apexel for your smartphone. Let's do this! Apexel sent me this kit for free but everything that you're gonna hear on this video is my opinion and they didn't pay me to say nothing or whatever. Immediately when you open this you see a bunch of lenses. Fortunately enough they are all labeled correctly. Let's try them on the smartphone. Now for this video I'm gonna test sometimes the lenses on video or on photo because some things it's cooler on video, other things it's cooler on photos. I don't do all in video because this uh, OnePlus phone it crops a little bit when you record video. First I'm gonna play with the very traditional lenses. That means macro, wide angle, etc. Then after we're gonna play with the funny lenses, the ones that are really I'm curious to test out. So to start, let's start with the wide angle lens. And this is a 0.63x multiplier. Now, this lens has to be combined with the macro lens to work. Immediately, when I look at this, we can see that it has very, very bad quality on the corners there. There is some color fringing and it has a little bit of distortion. A lot of problems on this lens. If you want a better wide angle, well, you need to pay for it because high quality wide angles for smartphones, they exist and they are a little bit expensive, but hey, it's a wide angle lens. Let's test out the macro then. As it is a macro lens, it's a 15X. I don't know if it's doing some zoom. Yes, it's doing a little bit of zoom. Oh, everything is shaking. I never was a big fan of macro photography, but it's fun. Actually, the quality, it's not bad, not bad at all. Next, we're gonna test out the fisheye. I'm not a fan of fisheye lenses, to be honest, but some people are. So the fisheye says that it has uh, 198 degrees of field of view. There you go. A lot of distortion, a lot of vignetting. My finger holding the smartphone, it's showing up. Uh, <laughs> it's not my thing. So yeah, let's keep going. So next one. Two times zoom. It says telephoto here lens, but it's not a telephoto lens. It's just two times zoom. If this lens is 30 millimeters, with two times will be 60 millimeters. Simple math. Now you may say that your smartphone has already a zoom lens, but you can put this lens on the top of the zoom lens to have even more zoom if you want. If you have digital zoom, this lens probably will be better. We have to check out the quality of this bad boy, okay? And, oh, too bad, that is not good. Let me do something. This is 2x digital zoom that OnePlus has. This is the normal view. And now this is with the lens on. It has a huge vignetting, a bit of distortion. If I do some digital zoom, uh, honestly, it gets better because I am only using the center of this lens and it gets better. I honestly prefer it like that. Now the center of the image, it's good. Add a little bit of digital zoom and you have a better quality picture because the center of this lens are way better than the edges. And the idea is to have some zoom, so zoom away. This one, it is CPL. So this is a polarized lens and it's a little bit tricky to uh, screw it in because it has a moving part and I'm gonna explain why in a bit. Yeah, I cheat some clothes. Polarized filter. It's a filter, it's not a lens, but okay. The polarize ha has a moving part. And this moving part is to remove re reflections on certain points. And one of the main features of a polarized filter is that you can't do that in post-production. It's better if I show you than actually try to explain now so there is a water tank here in front of me and the clouds it's reflecting on on the surface of the water and i can't see the bottoms so with a filter rotate and get the right stuff it's not removing that much i guess this polarized filter is to well record nature you can see that the sky has a degree of blue that isn't mm, well there and I can rotate to change it. Filters were made to uh, remove reflections. And this one, it's not removing 
reflections as well as it should be. For example, if you want to film someone or photograph someone that is inside of the car and the sky is reflecting on the glass, with this filter, it's not doing what it's supposed to do. Okay, so this one is my actual polarized filter that I use on my photography. It's a big one for big lenses. And if I put here in front, that it removes a little bit better the reflections. That is what it's supposed to do, and it's not doing it. Star filter lens. So if you look at closely to this filter, it's not a lens, it's a filter again. Uh, it has a moving part and, and the filter itself has some squares to simulate the star effect. I don't know if it will be visible here in nature, probably, yes. I like it, I like it, it has this moody feeling. Although there isn't really a bright light to make a star, it gives, the, it gives this moody feeling that I really like. So this could be a little bit simulated in software on an app or something like that but the real thing won't look as cool and as amazing as this so the next one it's a kaleidoscope of three i remember when i was a kid i played with a tube with mirrors inside to make these cool uh, looking images and again it's a moving kind of filter and if i try to rotate it Oh yeah, so if you thought that the, how, how do you pronounce this, Kaleidoscope 3 was fun, but the 6, I think it's better, look at this. I think that will do a pretty damn fun selfie, doesn't it? <laughs> how cool is this? This is... This thing is fun. This is thing is very, very fun. Flow filter lens. Now it's a filter, not a lens, but let's try to ignore this. And what this does, it's a very strange looking thing. I think it's try to simulate panning shots. Okay. Uh, if you don't know what panning is, is you force your shutter speed to be a little bit slow and you follow an athlete or a biker or a car or something like that and it will give you um, this uh, motion uh, on the picture. But honestly, for a beginner kit, for curious photographers, I would rather have a different filter than this one. And the next one that we're gonna play with is the radial filter. So this filter pr provokes uh, interesting autofocus areas. And of course, it has a moving part so you can point better where you want to make the autofocus area. So it's not just autofocus, it's a stretch autofocus. That's very interesting. Like that. Niska! Hey, Niska! Hey, Niska! Hey, Niska! You are a dreamy dog, uh, aren't you? Hmm? Well then, now that I tried all the filters, I'm gonna uh, express my opinion about these filters now. These filters are great for people that just want to have fun, okay? This is not focus on quality, this is focus on having fun, having fun with the photography and stuff like that, okay? But also it's a great gift to someone that is starting for a kid that wants to play with some lenses on his uh, smartphone. Now, the bad thing is that it has some bad quality optics. If you see a good optic, uh, for example, the wide-angle uh, optic, it's the double the price of this 10 filter kit. So if you divide it 20 bucks for 10 filters, it's $2 per filter. So it's very, very cheap filters and you can see them, but they are fun to use. That is the main point of them. Another thing that I don't really like that much is uh, the filters that it has moving parts, it's very difficult to screw in and screw because we don't have the room to hold this and screw and unscrew. That's, that's too bad. Another thing that I'm not a big fan of, the polarized filter. If you want to do a polarized filter, at least do it properly and polarize properly. Uh, it will remove a little bit of light that it's a bit of a problem with smartphones, but 
at least some curious about photography can see in real time what the polarized filter is doing. That is important, okay? My suggestion would be don't do the polarized filter, do an ND filter. Those filters are very, very fun to work. So well, an ND filter is a neutral density filter. It removes light to passing to the smartphone. By removing light, it forces to take a longer exposure and you can do beautiful long, long exposures of waterfalls and stuff like that. That is fun. So another bad thing that I don't really like is the book itself. Uh, it has four holes, uh, five for the, for the grip itself, but I would prefer a box with separated compartments. There is a bee there. Go make some honey. This thing, it's a lot of fun. It's supposed to be a lot of fun. One thing that I really like is the grip. This grip is awesome. It has some rubber that will grip and protect your screen and your uh, glass on the front of your lens. So no worries with that and it's big and you can use it in different ways for example if you want to put it as so so it won't affect the proximity sensor i can face unlock this you get what you pay for it's fun it opens the curiosity for photography that is great and experiments well then there we go so drop a like if you learned something comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this i am miguel until next time See ya.